Hello, and welcome to our lesson on correlation and causal relationships. So in this example, we see a positive correlation between the number of drownings and the number of ice creams sold. This means as the number of ice creams sold increases, so does the number of drownings. However, an increase in the number of drownings is not caused by an increase in the number of ice creams sold. Warmer weather could cause an increase in both. So although it shows correlation, causation is not implied. Let's try another example. So here we have a scattered graph showing the number of toasters sold and the number of Blu-ray players sold. Do you want to take a second to identify the correlation and then to think about whether one unit causes the other? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. Okay. There is a positive correlation, because as you can see, as the number of Blu-ray players sold increases, so does the number of toasters sold. However, an increase in the number of toasters is not caused by the number of Blu-ray players sold. A discount sale could have caused an increase in both. So again, this positive correlation does not imply a causation. And the final question, can you describe the correlation shown by the scatter graph and explain whether causation is indicated? We have the age of car versus the retail value. Do you want to pause the video to answer the question and then you can resume it when you're ready? Okay, so we can see a negative correlation because as the age of a car increases, its retail value decreases. And a decrease in retail value is caused by an increase in age. For, for instance, as a car gets older, it can become more worn and therefore have less value. Okay, thank you for watching. I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.